Okay, what else have we got here? Two half cells in a voltaic cell consist of... Okay, so they give us iron in an iron solution, silver in a silver solution, and we have some sulfates and nitrates, which probably don't matter, but we'll put them on the list just to make sure. We have iron, iron 2, sulfates, silver, silver ions from the silver nitrate, nitrates, and the ubiquitous water. Okay, so first question, we've been doing this for a while, what happens? Go to your redox table, read down the left side and up down the left side and up the right side and see what our reactants are. We have iron, silver, sulfate, nitrate, and water. So who are our most eligible chemical species here? Iron, silver, sulfate, nitrate. I have a pretty good idea that this one's going to be silver. Here we have nitrate, but there's no acid to work with, so we can't use that. Silver is indeed our SOA, or silver ion, I should say, is our strongest oxidizer. And for our strongest reducer, we go up this side. Silver, iron, sulfate, nitrate, that's sulfite, not, not sulfate. No good, no good. Silver, but only with sulfide, that's not it. Iron metal. Double checking. Yeah, iron. Okay, so the iron bar is our strongest reducing agent. And so we get two nice simple reactions here. We get silver, picking up an electron, reducing to silver metal. We get the iron bar oxidizing to iron 2, giving up two electrons. I want my electrons to match, so double the silver reaction. Now we have two electrons on both lines. And I'll spare you combining these into one reaction. You just scratch out the electrons and then combine everything else. So oxidation half reaction, here it is, the one where we lose electrons and the oxidation state goes up. The reduction half reaction is the silver one, where this thing's oxidation state is reduced from plus one to zero. The over, uh, they, they ask for the overall cell reaction. I'll write the darn thing. Electrons, goodbye. This is easy. Combine your left sides, combine your right sides, and you're good. And the cell potential, as in the cell voltage. Voltage, electrical potentials, and uh, cell potential all mean the same thing. Potential is, or voltage is a measure of how much energy does each of these electrons have. It's equivalent to uh, how many joules of energy per coulomb of charge. It's a measure of how, bad, how much do the electrons want to do this reaction and how much resistance are they willing to push through to make it happen. Any positive number means yes, they do want to. Any negative voltage means no, they don't want to. In fact, they'd rather go in the opposite direction. And zero means they completely don't care. They'll just sit in place. They won't help or hinder you if you try to force this reaction. More about forcing reactions later. In electrolytic cells coming soon, we're actually going to hook up a power supply and force a reaction to go when it doesn't want to. But for now, we're just looking at what will the electrons do naturally. Anyway, cell potential for this. We have silver getting reduced. I believe that's 0 0.80 volts. Yup. Uh, we get 0 0.80 volts. This reaction is as written in the data book, so I don't have to do any flip. And for the iron reaction, uh, down here, as written, this is minus 0.45 volts. But because we flipped it, we get positive 0 0.45 volts. And when you add those together, your total voltage is the sum of those 1.25 volts. What happens to the electrodes regarding their masses? Well, on one side we have silver ion turning into silver metal. So on the left side, if you've got your two cups connected by a salt bridge, and on one side you have a bar of silver and on the other side you have a bar of iron and you wire that up 
and you pour some liquid in here. On the left side we have silver ions floating in solution and then they're turning solid. So on the surface of this electrode we will start to get additional silver. Now realistically silver does not, any metal, does not deposit in nice polished layers. So what actually happens is it looks like this electrode's growing, growing stubble. It starts to get little generally little threads of silver that stick out from it in all directions and it starts to look a little bit like a porcupine. But those layers do build up and they do stack on each other and if that metal is comp dense enough and if you polish it you can work up a, a surface that actually looks a little more like metal. But when this first happens it looks like white frost is forming on the surface and then it starts to look more and more like white whiskers as they build up and get longer. So the silver bar will gain mass as more silver plates onto it. On the iron side we have solid iron turning into iron ions which would float away into solution. So on the right side the iron bar will actually dissolve. If the surface has a shine it will lose it as it starts to get pitted on the surface. At first little microscopic pits and then big ones you can actually see and then that surface will actually start to crumble and fall apart. It's like watching something rust at high speed.